Hey guys, I finally got uh, my proofs of clone working. I'm actually printing Pet G. This is actually my first successful print. Um, it's actually printing pretty good. Now, as far as building this, I actually use all MK3S Plus parts, except for this particular guy. I actually put it on the top, but um, this particular model comes with printed parts, so you gotta actually put the T-nuts on the top for the power supply. Um, other than that, I've used everything from MK3S Plus except for the LCD I uh, happened to print out with MK3S. Um, so the knob is all funky. I'm going to print out another knob with this new printer. Um, so everything's working. I've got original E3D uh, hot end in there. Uh, one thing I did wrong initially was I put the hot end fan uh, swapped out for the print fan. So my I would get jams because my hot end fan would not be running. So just make sure your hot end fan is running uh, when you put the filament in. It's actually printing beautifully here. So um, I'm using actually the same settings as on my MK3S Plus, which is like the fastest I can go without losing quality so it it's it, being able to print that is actually pretty amazing um, I'm actually just printing out more parts I'm printing out this tire part um, this is also a custom spool that a spool holder I use it's much more durable than the stock one I've got ball bearings so it it uh, it rolls really well and this is I made this for my TPU so I can really um, maximize the speed of my tp but it works great for pet g also you can adjust this really easy to fit a one kilo three kilo that i'm using or even very small so you can hold multiple spools and it doesn't take up much space which i really like um but yeah so far it's been a fun build i have, I have some funky parts but yeah I, my recommendation if you're building a clone just go with the mk3s plus parts you don't have to go with the older um, the newer parts they just compatible and as far as firmware I didn't update it at all I think it's got an older mk3s firmware but it's still com uh, fully compatible with uh, mk3s plus so I have no problems um, just putting that cheat code in there I, I'm not even gonna mess with it if it's working I'm just don't it's printing well I might not mess with the firmware but meh I don't know. If it's not broken, don't don't fix it. That's my motto. Um, the only thing I feel different is the stepper motor. Obviously, it's more generic. All the motors are generic. Um, obviously, you got generic uh, linear rails in there. Um, cheaper linear um, linear rails. But so far, so good. I I don't see any huge difference between the original and the clone. I mean, I think you can totally get by. Now. Now some of the screws, like the T-nut screws are actually, T-nut itself is actually bigger. Um, so that's one thing you gotta, you know, because I already built a Prusa MK3S Plus before. Um, so I just was, you know, <laughs> reading the instructions and then sort of figuring out things myself. Um, but yeah, if, you, if it, this is your first printer, I would go with the original, but if it's your second or third, I think the clones are fine. I'm, I mean, I'll do further tests. I'm gonna put some some of my production stuff on here and see how well it does. But wow, it's it's very quiet. It's actually quieter than my my other ones. But I put some extra grease. I got this super lube. Um, I lubed it a little bit. Um, but yeah, looking looking great. So I got another machine. Uh, thanks again, Fistack, for sending me this clone. I was finally able to put it together. It took me actually over a week because, um, you know, I just worked on it when I, I had free time. I couldn't work on it straight. But yeah, pretty good kit. Um, overall, it worked. I think you should be able to do pretty well. I with the the, it has a pretty good hot end. The latest um, kit they have, which which I I got this like actually over yeah six months ago or something. Anyway, I'll have the updates on my clone. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up with Octopi and put it in one of my closets. Uh, but yeah, printing beautifully here. Uh, I'll try some larger objects. And as far as the the uh, metal plate here, it seems to hold pretty good. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I actually like the um, the PEI sheets. 
because I usually mostly use uh, TPU and they stick way better, especially with larger objects. Uh, more multiple objects, uh, the powdered um, metal stuff tends to like warp a lot, especially in open spaces. But yeah, I'm I have an update. Um, so far, so good. My first ever print successful. The printing at full speed. I'm using the same settings as on my regular MKS 3S Plus uh, with PETG. But next, I'm gonna go ahead and try TPU. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And also, I didn't use the nylon thing here. <laughs> it's doing fine, but I had to shorten out. It's a little. There's a little gap, but you know, this is a clone. I'm. I'm not too too crazy about it. I'm just um, waiting on my rat rig next, which is gonna be really exciting. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my boron here, uh, hopefully this week. And this is going to be a beast, yeah, hopefully. Linear rails, yeah. Alright, have a great day, folks.